हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज फॉर टेंथ क्लास सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ जेनेटिक फंडामेंटल्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू टूडे अबाउट द क्रोमोजोम्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो दैट क्रोमोजोम्स आर बेसिकली प्रेजेंट इन द सेंटर ऑफ द सेल दैट मीन्स इन साइड द न्यूक्लियस एंड दोज दैट न्यूक्लियस is a uh, brain of the cell means that is uh, capable to control all the functions of cell so that functions will be controlled by the uh, chromosomes and chromosomes are able to have a have a lots of information about all body structure so these chromosomes actually made up of dna so students today i want to tell you the uh, basic structure of chromosome first of all and uh, their function so let's start with the basic structure of chromosome and as you know that student uh, chromosomes are uh, basically made up of made up of your uh, dna and that dna is present in present inside the uh, nucleus so uh, look at this that uh, for example we basically our uh, uh, chromosome structure is like this and uh, this chromosome structure uh, uh, will be formed by the condensation of dna so students first of all i want to tell you what is the structure of dna suppose this is a coiled structure of dna and in this coil structure lots of nitrogenous bases are present and uh, these nitrogenous bases uh, the dna structure uh, i have already told you in another video you can go through with that one so dna is a uh, double helical structure which uh, which is composed of uh, ribose sugar and uh, phosphate and uh, different type of nitrogenous bases these nitrogenous bases actually adenine guanine cytosine and thymine so these are when coil when make a ladder and coil together then they will form a dna this dna when condense together then it will be convert into a chromosome so like this ultimately it will convert into chromosome to so student this chromosome we, uh, we are going to discuss the what is the function of chromosome earlier uh, one more uh, video is there in which i told you uh, what are genes and uh, how genes are located so the genes are actually located on the chromosome small segments of dna for example from here to here this small segment of dna is called as gene so that gene is also locating on the different Uh, parts of uh, chromosome so uh, first of all i want to tell you that chromosomes are the carriers of heredity because these chromosomes only going to be transferred to the next generation from both the parents uh, half number of chromosomes will combine together in next generation during the zygote formation so students when they come into the uh, next generation during the zygote formation and zygote is formed then uh, zygote contains half set of chromosome of father and half set of chromosome of mother and the both the sets will combine together and total uh, 2n means haploid number of chromosomes will be formed in all individuals so uh, as i told you that um, there are some some uh, chromosomes are responsible for the heredity and carrier of heredity so these chromosomes will these chromosomes will carry the genes to the next generation suppose father is having some special gene of uh, curly hair then mother uh, will also having some gene for the hair then whosoever genes is powerful or dominating that gene will reflect into the next generation so uh, these uh, chromosomes when half number of chromosomes from father and half number of chromosomes from mother will come into the next generation they will arranged in a special uh, you can say that uh, artificial manner and that is uh, that is called as karyotype students so, there is a one word karyotype karyo type this karyo type means all the chromosomes 46 chromosomes of human being as you know that in human human beings 46 chromosomes are present 
chromosomes are present these 46 chromosomes will be arranged in the manner of for example this is a first chromosome first pair and then second pair then third pair then fourth pair similarly so on and it will go up to the 22 pair uh, autosomes and last one pair is uh, called as sex chromosome so all these chromosomes will be uh, are artificially arranged you can see that karyotypes definition is like this the um, artificial arrangement of chromosomes according to their shape and size is called as karyotype so the karyotype will be the presentation of chromosomes now the, the chromosomes mostly appear in a homologous pair students homologous pairs homologous pair homologous pairs what are homologous pairs first of all you should know the definition a pair of corresponding chromosomes of the same shape and size one from each parent one from each parent uh, now look at this for example if you will talk about the okay chromosome number 13 chromosome number 13 means these those are homologous chromosome this is one from father and one from mother and both are of same shape same size and bearing same type of genes and they are called as corresponding chromosomes uh, a pair of corresponding chromosomes of the same shape size and uh, we are getting these uh, 13th homologous chromosome from our parents uh, from each parent one from father and one from mother so that's why when they come into the next generation they will pair together and this is called as homologous chromosome so always two chromosomes will come will uh, come together and make a homologous chromosome so now next one is students uh, there are two types of chromosomes total 46 chromosomes are there in human body then there are two categories of chromosomes uh, chromosomes are named as commonly they are called as chromosomes otherwise there are two categories number one is autosomes autosomes it is 23 pair okay uh, total chromosomes and aut autosomes are only 22 pairs okay and next one is uh, this uh, your next one is sex chromosome chromosome this is only one pair ultimately total is 46 pair of chromosome means uh, 46 chromosomes uh, not pair it is uh, 22 pairs and one pair total 23 pair and total number of chromosomes are 46 chromosomes now students uh, chromosome number I, I want to tell you one thing the chromosome number in each body cell always have a same number for example if uh, suppose uh, you this is your finger body cell okay finger body cell it always having a 46 chromosome this is suppose your uh, skull body cell skull body cell this also having a 46 chromosome this is suppose your uh, uh, muscles body cell this uh, muscle cell that is also 46 chromosome and whatever body part you are having everywhere you have 46 chromosomes similarly pea plant also similarly your uh, dog cats onion they all are having same type of chromosomes in each cell if suppose there is a pea plant in pea plant either you take a root cell root cell then 14 chromosome you take a uh, flower you take a flower then also 14 chromosome you take a seed then also 14 chromosome. all parts are having same number of chromosomes so chromosomes always remain same and students one thing i want to tell you maximum number of uh, the highest number of chromosomes present in this world is in some insects some insects are there where more than 
1000 you can say that uh, 1600 maximum uh, can also be there more than 1600 also possible uh, most of the insects are having 1000 uh, 1000 chromosomes chromosomes and lowest two chromosomes that is in ascaris chromosomes ascaris is having 20 uh, two chromosomes only okay so next one is uh, we are going to study about the sex determination students uh, when we are studying about the um, chromosomes this is one major uh, major you can say that uh, um, question that what is sex determine how sex determination is took place in human body specifically we are calling as a human uh, we are studying about the human so human genetics so we are going to discuss about the sex determination of human you know that uh, in human uh, two sexes are there either male or female male that is son or female that is daughter daughter so students these two uh, are produced and how uh, it is decided that either son will produce or daughter will produce so students keep in mind that uh, whenever whenever sem semen is uh, entered into the hum female tract at that time millions of sperms are there how of of the sperms are uh, of uh, x bearing uh, and half of the sperms are y bearing and uh, that you can see that x sperms and y sperms half of the number will be x sperms 50 50 uh, probability will be there half uh, uh, x sperms and uh, y sperms okay but the egg which is waiting inside the human uh, inside the female uh, tract that is a fallopian tube that is egg or ovum ovum is always having only x chromosome always having x chromosome so whenever whenever egg will be waiting there with the 23 chromosomes then different types of sperms will approaching it some are x some are y some are x so so many sperms are approaching towards the towards the uh, egg and the out of these whosoever will reach earlier first very first whosoever uh, sperm will touch the will touch the egg that sperm will get chance to unhear always remain x this is always remain as x so whosoever will touch then this will give rise to one zygote that zygote is having uh, 46 it is also bringing 23 chromosome 46 chromosome with x and x combination so this can become a girl child and daughter okay so this is called as uh, sex determination so when uh, egg with the x chromosome fused with the x bearing sperm that will result into a uh, female child and uh, uh, in our language it is called as daughter and then uh, if the egg bearing x chromosome is fused with a y bearing x uh, egg with the x chromosome 23x will be fused with the y uh, sperm then it will give rise to zygote in which 46 chromosome with the xy combination and this will become a son okay and this is the case of sex determination uh, it never ever depends on uh, ovum or female body it always depends on the 
male body only male uh, gamete only male gametes have a tendency to uh, produce uh, boy or son not a female gamete female gamete always remain of same uh, chromosome that is x chromosome and uh, sometime in uh, exams uh, in 10th class board exams it is a uh, very mostly asked that uh, comment on this statement that uh, in India, in Indian society, um, there is a tendency of uh, uh, blaming females for the boy uh, producing, uh, boy, boy child. But uh, it is uh, totally illogical, scientifically illogical because the female will never be responsible for the boy child, only male uh, sperms are responsible for the male child it is uh, needed to teach our society that uh, boys and girls are same nowadays so now next one is uh, we are going to discuss about the uh, chromosomes as a carrier of genes so students in the starting also i told you about the carrier of uh, the chromosomes as a carrier of genes or bearing genes now i am going to explain you in detail what are genes Again, I am going to give you the definition of gene. Gene is a gene. Gene is a, uh, a specific part of chromosome, a special part of chromosome. You can see that this part, this part from here to here, this whole part is called as genes. Gene, okay. And another definition is DNA segment, chota sa DNA segment, whatever small DNA segment is there is called as uh, gene. So students, the DNA segment of chromosome is called as gene and uh, this gene is determined the hereditary characteristic. It is responsible for one feature of your body and next one is these genes actually one example i want to give you for example you can see that there is a cat family in cat family lion tiger and cats they all are having same number of chromosome in cat family cat family for example lion tiger and cats they all are having 38 chromosome but you can see the difference between them their height weight shape size shape size and their uh, behavior and their uh, other features are totally different but they have the same number of chro chromosome why they have a, that type of uh, uh, variation in their body physique and any other uh, features because of genes now here genes will play the role genes will play the role loin is having 38 chromosome but the genes are different from tiger and cat that's why it is different so it is not that uh, uh, if you have an equal number of chromosome then you will be having the same type of genes no because uh, you can see that human beings are having 46 chromosomes and potatoes are having 48 chromosome you can see what is the role of chromosome now now look at this mean that means if uh, two chromosomes will be less than a human being can become a potato not at all means human beings and uh, potatoes are having uh, near about 46 and 48 chromosome but their genes are totally different that's why there's such a huge variation between these two so basically genes are responsible to make your uh, features or characteristics okay and uh, next one is uh, this genes and their alleles now come to the genes uh, slowly slowly we will reach to the genes genes as i told you in the beginning it is a small dna segment segment okay and this dna segment mostly suppose suppose this is a dna this is a dna and uh, this small part of dna is called as gene and this part of dna is having very special is is determining very special characteristics now come to the uh, another portion of gene genes always have a two types keep in mind suppose this is a chromosome homologous chromosome then there is one uh, gene that is named as uh, a okay and uh, there is also one gene which is uh, named as 
कैपिटल ए कीप इन माइंड बोथ आर हैविंग सेम टाइप ऑफ फीचर्स फॉर एग्जांपल ए मींस आई कलर आई कलर तो स्मॉल ए इज आल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर आई कलर कैपिटल ए इज आल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर आई कलर बट बोथ आर द सेम जीन वन जीन इज देयर हुज टू टाइप्स आर प्रेजेंट नाउ दीज टू टाइप्स आर एक्चुअली कॉल्ड एज अलेल्स वट वी कॉल अलेल्स two types are called alleles and what is the difference uh, what is the definition of allele now alternative form of gene is forms of gene is called as allele and alternative form of genes is called as allele and uh, this allele mostly occupy a same locus same locus locus means position locus means position same position it is occupying and uh, they are as i told you both are of same gene suppose both are of eyes eyes okay and uh, this is a small eye this is a big eye look at this okay and uh, eyes are genes alleles are a and capital a ओके तो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अलेल्स एंड ए एंड जीन्स एंड दीज अलेल्स एक्चुअली डिटरमाइन एज अ डोमिनेटिंग एंड रिसेसिव टू टाइप्स ऑफ अलेल्स आर देयर द डोमिनेटिंग डोमिनेंट अलेल एंड रिसेसिव अलेल सो स्टूडेंट्स आई वांट टू टेल यू अबाउट द डोमिनेंट अलेल एंड रिसेसिव अलेल नाउ दिस अलेल विल बी फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू will be further divided into two dominant and recessive allele recessive allele dominant will be uh, you can say that producing its own effect and whenever it is present in single or double and recessive will produce its effect only when it will be in a uh, double state that uh, Uh, topic i will tell you later on because it is a very vast topic and uh, we will discuss in another video this all uh, alleles 